Good morning. Welcome to a fine, frosty spring morning in the Pennines. Uh, this morning I'm going to spend a couple of hours photographing the railway line between Todmorden and Copey Pit. Uh, there's a few viaducts, really scenic features along there, and the Preston tanks are running, so uh, that will form, no doubt, a, a part of this video. If you don't know me, I'm Andrew, and uh, one of my passions is railway photography. Uh, so I, I come out on locations such as this, and, uh, and what a fine morning it's turning out to be in the Pennines. Now, before I go exploring somewhere else, there's a unit coming down from Blackburn to Manchester, and that'll make a nice shot in this uh, early morning sunshine. So I'll get set up here, and then let's see where we, uh, where we can get to. Above Cornholm, looking for some compositions, long views over the uh, over the valley. Right in the distance, there is where I started off this morning on the Copa Pit Line. And, uh, there are some long views up the the valley, but um, the fairly infrequent trains gives me some opportunity of uh, having a wander around, enjoying the morning sunshine, and, uh, and looking out for some uh, some compositions that there might. So this is high above Cornholm, and it gives a couple of great long views. One into the sun and one uh, with the sun on the nose of any trains that come. And there are two trains actually. There's one coming down from Blackpool and one coming up from Manchester. So it gives uh, two shots from up here. So I'm going to get set up. I think the first one is coming from Blackpool. So I'll get the first one with a view over the old mill that's in the process of being uh, demolished or renovated or whatever. So I'll try and build that one into a composition. And then the other one, uh, we can get that on a sunlit curve as it comes up from uh, Todmorden. So that was the train from Blackpool uh, to York, I think it was. So I'm going to get set up for the uh, train from Manchester coming up now. There's a deer over there. <laughs> right, I'm going to see if I can get my long lens on. There's a deer in the trees. So I'll get set up for the Blackburn or Burn train or whatever it is that's coming up from Manchester. But this is going to be backlit and a half is this one. We'll see what it looks like, it might have a bit of a glint on it so we'll, uh, we'll just see how that works out. I had a bit more time, although there were some trains running up at um, Cornholm. I'd have liked to have done some shots around the, uh, uh, the bridge with the mill in the background. But anyway, I need to be up on the hillside here. Uh, there's a 10 minute walk because the shot from today that I really want is uh, Lydgate Viaduct with Preston tanks returning with the sun in the right position, blue sky. So that's the mind's eye vision of the shot that I want. So I'm walking up uh, out of Lydgate. But Lydgate Viaduct has quite an interesting uh, characteristic. There's a deformed arch, quite an interesting feature of that viaduct. I'm nearly in the spot that I wanted and there's a train coming down from Preston. So it's given me an opportunity of a, a shot with these old gate posts, which uh, I really like the, the style of.
Well, the conditions couldn't be better. They're perfect for what I had in mind. I'm thinking of using the wall and the style as foreground, leading down to then to the, the town and the viaduct. And I've uh, got a couple of units, one either direction to do a, a couple of test shots. But shortly afterwards, just following one of the units down is the, the Preston tank. So maybe we've got 10 minutes at the most, uh, just to find the right spot and shot. What an absolutely fantastic morning to be out in the Pennines, absolutely glorious weather. So, I'm hoping you've enjoyed that uh, trip up Coca Pit line and uh, the Preston tanks. And if you have, give it a thumbs up, it's appreciated. Uh, and if you want to come with me on more railway photographic adventures, then uh, please subscribe. And I've got loads more uh, trips out planned for the uh, coming months. So uh, let's see where we get to next. So once again, thank you for watching and I shall see you on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>